What's going on guys, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today I want to show you not just how I made this shot here as well as this shot here, I also want to show you the creative process and thoughts behind some of the decisions that were made when uh, making these shots. Now I always start off filming or photographing everything on a green screen and then from there I usually use Photoshop or After Effects if it's a video to key out the green screen. Those are just my favorite programs for keying things out but then I do the rest in Blender. So I'll hit Shift A, go to Image, Images as Planes. If you don't have the add-on enabled, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and then type in Images. Just make sure this box is checked, and that's going to let you bring in green screen footage, like whether it's video or photos, into Blender. It's a super, super useful add-on, and it's free. So then I'll hit Shift A, go to Image, and then Images as Planes, and from there I'll navigate into my computer to where I have the footage saved. In this case, I'm using a photo, so I'll go ahead and select whichever photo I want. Say I choose this one right here, you can set it to principled or emit. I typically do principled, although sometimes I do want the image to emit light, in which case I'll hit emit. I have a much more in-depth video on my channel about how to work with images as planes in Blender and make things look good. So I'll link that in the description. So make sure you check that out. So with this right here, this is actually just one photo of me and my buddy Ronnie. We play in a band together. And you can see that I just have a very simple particle uh, simulation happening here. So if we look through the camera, we'll see there's a very heavy depth of field and it's creating this cool effect with on those spheres there. So if I navigate to my camera up here and then select camera, you can see that the focus distance is 2.1 meters and the f-stop is 0 0.1 and you can play with this effect you know to get something that you like but for me this just is just what worked. One other thing that's important to note is that there is a particle simulation happening on here from frame 0 up to 250 and if we scroll through the timeline you can see that the particles are just coming through at different places so not every single one of these is going to look good because you know for example right there that one's blocking out Ronnie's eye so I had to find the perfect shot that I and this was a perfect spot here at frame 143 where everything just happened to look good and work out both of us were in focus and then you have this the rest of this effect happening up here. And yeah, the set's super simple. You can see that I'm instancing this sphere down here for the particle simulation, and then we just have this basic little plane that's been extruded up, that rear edge, just like that. And then we've got a light up here, a little lamp for some, uh, you know, extra light, and then... And then we've got our camera right here and looking through the camera this is the shot you get. I did a little bit of color correction and grading in Lightroom and this is the final result. This right here is another photo that I use Blender to edit with and compose and this one's actually pretty simple also. So I wanted to create the feel that this was kind of in a studio so to speak so I just did this a similar situation using a plane for a backdrop. If we tap into edit mode you can see I've beveled this edge here just so it has some curvature to it and then I got these uh, two lights off of Blender Kit and just put them in the background there. And then looking through the camera, this is the shot you get. And it's just really easy to make a th little 3D set like this in Blender. You don't have to use a bunch of 2D layers and worry about all that stuff. You can kind of just, you know, go ahead and say, I want to move something around. I can grab this and just move myself over like that and or like this right here. Move these lights. These lights are actually mirrored, but you get the point. And then if I wanted to, you know, adjust Ronnie here, I could bring him up or back looking through the camera. I can do a similar thing like that, you know, if I want to bring him up here. And it's just really nice working this way. Um, you can just move everything around in 3D. And it, it's just, it's, it's to me personally, I love it. It's so much fun. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. This is just one of the many ways that I use Blender to make awesome photos and art. So don't forget to hit subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.